I'm Dr. Cyrus Mehta. I'm basically a cataract and refractive surgeon. This means I'm the guy that you come to to do the robotic cataract surgery, the laser vision correction procedures like SMILE. I've been working for about 25 years now since I returned from the US. Over the course of 25 years, I must have seen a quarter of a million patients. I must have done over 35,000 surgeries. Cataract is nothing but clouding of this human lens. When the human lens becomes a little yellowish or cloudy and stops transmitting light through it, this is called cataract and that's why people see blurred after cataract. Funnily enough, the first sign or symptom of cataract is not actually seeing less. That's a more advanced symptom of cataract. The earliest symptom of cataract is glare. People come to me and say, when I drive at night, I get a lot of glare and that's the first sign of cataract. So in the olden days, as late as 1960 and 1970, we used to cut the eye open 10 to 12 millimeters and then we would press on the eye with two hands and I've done this surgery as far back as 1995 and we would get the cataract out in one piece. Because we wanted to get the cataract out in one piece, we used to wait until the cataract became completely mature. So if the cataract fragmented and fell inside the eye, it would be very complicated to fix because the technology didn't exist to get small pieces out of the eye which is why in the olden days, it was propagated to the public that you wait until the cataract is completely mature, until you can't see even two fingers in front of your face, and then only you go to the doctor, and then you'll have a successful cataract surgery. However, with minimally invasive cataract surgery, which came along in the 80s and 90s, using an ultrasonic needle going in the eye through three millimeters, we now wanted a softer cataract that we could melt or emulsify with ultrasound energy and then suck it out through two or a three millimeter tunnel. A new advance is robotic cataract surgery. Robotic laser cataract surgery is rather simple. First, we put a little suction cup on the eye and fill it with saline. Then the patient is docked under the laser. The laser will quickly take in just a few seconds about 60,000 images of the inside of the eye by using a laser to sweep the inside of the eye. And this will tell us exactly where the cataract is, how dense it is, where the power is concentrated on the cornea and many other parameters. Then in a few seconds, we press a few touchscreen buttons and we decide how to do the procedure with guidelines received by the programming. After that, the laser in just 30 seconds will create tunnels into the eye, will melt the cataract and will even correct the residual cylindrical power on the cornea so that patient can be relatively spectacle free. And then the melted cataract is sucked out through a tiny tunnel. And through this tiny tunnel made by the laser system, a lens is implanted in the eye. So the whole surgery is done through two or 2.2 millimeters. And because you're making a tiny opening in the eye, and because there's no damage to the structure of the eye, the eye heals very fast. I have people who go back to work just a day or two after cataract surgery, they're driving their cars, they are using the computers, they are stockbrokers, they are lawyers going to court. So I think the recovery after robotic cataract surgery is dramatically better than regular cataract surgery. The whole focus of cataract surgery today is how to cause minimum damage or how to use minimum energy in the eye. Always remember, the more energy you use in the eye, the longer the eye takes to recover from the surgery. Imagine a person who gets one slap versus the person who gets 10 slaps. The person who gets 10 slaps will have a swollen face the next day. And this is exactly how eye surgery goes. If you take 45 minutes inside the eye, if you pump a huge amount of energy in the eye, the eye will respond with inflammation. The cornea will swell up and the person will complain of poor vision for a month or two. But if you use robotic cataract surgery or femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery, the amount of energy that we have to use in the eye is sometimes zero. We just suck it out using suction because the cataract's already been melted and cut into multiple pieces. That's why the eye recovers so fast. After conventional cataract surgery, which we were doing for 25 years before the laser systems came on the market, Patients were not allowed to put water in the eye for a month. And you can imagine what a torture this is, not being able to wash your face or shave or apply eye makeup or go back to your normal life. But after robotic cataract surgery, as soon as five days, 
patients can wash their face and be absolutely comfortable. In a week or 10 days, they can go for a swim, I don't mind.